Hello there friends. Welcome back. Today I want to talk about something I've noticed many of you struggling with network marketing. And if you've ever felt stuck or frustrated by a lack of consistent leads, well, you're absolutely not alone. This video, my friend, is for you. Consider this part one of our journey together, where we'll fill back the layers on some of the core struggles, network marketers face, and more importantly, how to overcome them. Let's imagine for a moment you're in Sarah's shoes. Sarah's been working hard, dedicating her time, following all the advice she's been given, yet month after month, she's stuck in the same place. Leads are dry, her team isn't growing, and she feels like she's talking to the same people over and over. Ever felt like that? Perhaps you're even feeling it now. Well, here's the thing. The core issue isn't about talking to more people. It's about the right people. Let's dive into how we fix this, shall we? All right, Sarah's problem is one of the biggest in network marketing. She's putting in the work but isn't seeing results because her approach to finding leads is misdirected. She's chasing every contact, every friend of a friend, hoping they'll join. But think about it. When we try to appeal to everyone, we end up resonating with no one. Now, this is where I tell you the first hack. It's called the perfect prospect profile. Here's how it works. Rather than hunting down every person in your contacts, we're going to define who your ideal prospect is. I want you to think deeply here. Who would truly benefit from your product? What does this person do? What are their pain points, their dreams? For Sarah, her ideal prospect wasn't just anyone who'd listen. It was young moms who wanted flexible income or wellness enthusiasts seeking healthier lifestyles. Once she focused on connecting with her perfect prospects, everything started to change. Suddenly, she wasn't convincing anyone they were coming to her. Once Sarah knew who she was speaking to, we move on to the second hack, which is what we call personal storytelling. Now, this isn't just posting product pictures. No one buys into a product without knowing why it's worth their time. So instead, Sarah started sharing her own experiences. She'd talk about her own journey, the struggles of balancing family and work, the little wins she achieved with her product and how it gave her more freedom. And here's the twist. People started listening. They could see themselves in her story. Instead of cold messaging dozens of strangers, Sarah shared her story authentically. 
and people connected. She created what I call a magnetic story that drew the right people in. Now, here's where the twist comes in. Because while defining your prospect and sharing stories are crucial, they're only powerful as your consistency. Sarah had her moments of doubt, like we all do, when she'd wonder if her efforts were paying off. I told her, Sarah, the ones who succeeded in network marketing are the ones who stay consistent when others give up. Think of it like planting seeds. If we plant seeds, we don't water them every day. We don't grow. But with little consistent care, those seeds turn into a whole garden of opportunities. So every day, Sarah posted something valuable. Every day, she engaged with her audience. And slowly but surely, those seeds sprouted. Now, my friend, if you find yourself feeling stuck like Sarah was, reach out to us today. Let's get to know each other, understand where you are, and map out a plan for you to start seeing real lasting results in your network marketing business. This is just part one of our series, so stay tuned for what's next. We're diving deeper, and trust me, there's so much more to uncover. Until next time, stay determined, stay focused, and remember, you're just one ship away from the breakthrough you've been waiting for. Thank you very much and have a nice day.